Today, I'm at the 19th picked place out of the hat. And we're back at the coast, but this place has a real good feel about it. And I'm looking forward to showing you. Today, I'm in Sheldon in Devon. I'll be starting around this area in Ness car park and I'll be going down here the road and seeing some views over towards Tynmouth then I'll be going onto the coastal path and going up Ness Hill and uh, we'll see some views again over Tynmouth so they should be really impressive then we'll carry on and uh, we'll go down here following the coastal path all the way down here and onto the A379 briefly and then going down here all the way following the coastal path again we're going to see some great views we'll carry on all the way down here and stopping off at Maidencombe Cove so I'll show you around there and then we'll be going through Maidencombe Village onto the A379 and uh, at Maidencombe Cross and we'll be taking the bus back to the car so join me on my walk to see how I get on Right, here we go then. We're starting in the Ness car park and uh, for £4.20 I've got the full day um, which runs out tomorrow so I've got plenty of time and of course you can get uh, cheaper tickets if you want but if you want to make the most of it why not go for £4.20 so we've got to go down here and then you've got the the Ness pub there right on the coast pretty much the views over Tynmouth there from there and as you go down this road it bends slightly to the right and there you go look at that what a view this is and uh, I really do highly recommend going to the Ness because you've got the outside seating there obviously and uh, at the back of the uh, the pub you can sit out there I mean there you can't see as much as you can see out here but it's just the location of the pub isn't it oh look at that so just um, over there is where I got to when I went from Dawlish to Tynmouth 
So it's really great just to link this up, you know, and carry on along the coast. But there's some important information I would say here. So Sheldon World War II coastal defence. So with the outbreak of World War II, and in particular after the fall of Dunkirk, the ability to defend the coast, including Sheldon, set at the mouth of the River Teen, became of an increasing importance. Defences grew to include lookout posts, searchlights, armament against air and sea attack, and the necessary ancillary buildings to serve the units who manned the positions, such as the, the artificers' workshop, Nissan huts used as lecture rooms, and a dummy loading hut where they practiced loading the guns. Above Ness Beach, there was an observation lookout post and Boffer's guns manned by a light anti-aircraft regiment. Royal Artillery stood where the zoo stands today. A boom spanned the mouth of the river and was closed from the last low tide to sunrise the following day. The remains of these emplacements still survive and offer a valuable insight this period of Sheldon's history. Cool, it's glorious, isn't it? And of course, this is where the River Teen ends up into the sea. And we've seen the River Teen quite a few times on other walks, haven't we? So it's great to see it from this side and at the end of it. And from Tynmouth to Sheldon, you've got Sheldon Bridge that goes right over the other side and you can go down this road down here and you can see it in the distance whilst you're seeing the views of the lovely sea. Right, I've been told that the first bit of this coastal path is quite uh, heavy going and hilly. Um, someone in the Nest car park was telling me and I think um, someone called Catherine commented on one of uh, the videos. So let's give it a go. What's it going to be like, folks? Let's see and find out. Absolutely delightful walking along here to start with, isn't it? And of course, right over there was where I turned round and I went from Dawlish to Tidmouth, just round there. Okay, so here we go then. We've got the first steps up this way. I think we're going to need a lot of uh, water today. Nice view over there, look, from that bench. Okay. <laughs> now I've been going to the gym a bit more recently so I'm hoping that this will that will help me with this oh yeah it is quite steep yep there we go the coastal path sign and there is a viewpoint at the top of here that I'm looking forward to seeing and showing you guys hear the sea crashing down below. What I'm hoping to do, um, hopefully, it's quite, a, it's quite a way, but get to Maiden Coombe and turn round but get the bus back. And apparently um, the bus will stop right at the top of Nest Car Park. So when you go into Nest Car Park, you go down a bit of a, a road, like a, a road off the main road. It's a bit hilly, but yeah, that would be perfect if I can do this today. There we are, we got another view. Look at this. Look at that, folks. Look at this. Wow. And you can see the, um, the pier. And I think right down there is when you when I came out and then underneath the railway line and then the sea wall along there. Amazing. 
So if you want to see that, you can. Did that back in January. Got a lovely sound of a robin. With the sound of the sea in the background and then uh, other birds. And then the occasional seagull that's hanging around. This is delightful. Really liking this. The, the ferns that are in the mix here. Oh, someone revving up in the background, probably on the A379. Oh, you can now hear Shelton Zoo, which is, it is just there, look. And this is something I, I really want to talk about. So Sheldon Zoo Wildlife Trust is set in an acre of woodland garden above the attractive coastal village of Sheldon. They look after and help preserve some of the rarest and most endangered animals in the world. They pride themselves on being the little zoo making a big difference. And uh, if you visit their site, you can see information on all their animals and ways in which they are helping with their conservation. And you can also buy some of our, or their gift experiences and find out how to get involved with the trust. So many of the animals here are part of a managed breeding program which ensures as much genetic diversity as possible. The reason for keeping these captive animals is to have a safety net population in case of a catastrophic decline in the wild population. For, for example, due to an earthquake or tidal wave, some species are so fragmented and populations so small that the entire species could become extinct. But by having a genetically diverse population in captivity, they would be able to gradually repopulate areas after such events and not lose the species forever. So their animals here at Sheldon also act as ambassadors for their own species or those closely related so that visitors can learn about the problems they face in their natural homes and how they can help prevent them from becoming extinct. You've got a bit of a, <laughs> I saw a bit of a funny uh, situation when I went there last time. Um, I'll get the video up here and you can see you've got You've got them in the uh, in that pipe with a big bit of carrot, and then you've got you've got all of a sudden you've got him turning up, trying to take it from him. <laughs> Determined. Look at this determination, and that look the sweep, and look at that. He's got it. The size of it as well. He must be absolutely fuming in there. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> if I was a monkey, right, and someone nicked my carrot, I'd be absolutely fuming. I really would be, wouldn't you? Right, let's crack on. And the zoo, just to add another point, they've got cotton top tamarins, which is one of my favourite species of monkeys. And at the time, they had their babies which were holding on to them. And you get to see that, it's just amazing. So, it's definitely worth a visit there, folks, if you're coming to Sheldon. And uh, if you've got a family, the kids will love it. Right, here we go. So we're going up another hill, but not too steep. You've got some steps here. Potentially you could see over the sea there. Now it's been, it, it, it sort of drizzled a little bit uh, just before I sort of was setting off properly from the car park, but uh, the sun's out now. 
it's just a passing shower. The temperature today is between uh, 17 and uh, 19 degrees. So it's ideal walking temperature. All right, got to go up here. As the sign says, the acorn post. It's really exciting doing more coastal walking and especially having you all joining me on the adventure. And it's very twisty turny, which it uh, always gives you that excitement of what's it going to be like around the other side. And oh, yeah, this is the golf course. Okay, so hopefully no one's hitting balls over here. It looks fine, but apparently that was that bit was quite the um, hardest bit, I believe, of going up and down. But I'm sure there'll be more challenges facing us. Yep. So dogs must be kept on leads at all times. Southwest Coast Path. And we've got these little pine needles that have come off the pine trees. Yeah, plenty of pine needles there. You can hear the sea again, crashing down at the bottom. And of course, I'll be comparing this, won't I, with... Uh, Uh, Budley sorted into Exmouth. The path feels wider, doesn't it? Here. A few bees around at the moment. And of course, they still will be, as we're not out of the summer just yet, are we? Bit muddy here. Just got to mind our heads on that branch. I always find that the coastal paths are well maintained. That's my experience so far. And look, everything's been taken care of with the branches. You've cut them back to make sure that you can walk along here without having your hair or your cap taken off. Oop. It's got to bend my head a bit actually because it's a bit low now but you just got to bend down a bit no big issue oh there's a little gap here folks let's have a look oh nice look at that sea oh yes and down here is Ness Beach and to get down there You've got to go through a tunnel, through the cliffs, and uh, the entrance is close to Sheldon Zoo. And um, you can see, look on here, the the beach from the other angle when you're down the steps. So the steps are obviously in the tunnel, but yeah, lovely. Definitely recommend going down there as well. So you could go to Sheldon Zoo and pop down to Ness Beach. Some information here. I do love it when they keep you informed about where you are, what's about, what you can see. Um, so introducing Labrador Bay. It's a great view, isn't it? It certainly is. And once you have finished taking it all in, there are lots of places to explore both on the RSPB Nature Reserve and the surrounding farmland. The southwest coast path through Labrador Bay is not for the faint-hearted. Right, okay. Um, but the views make up for this. If you fancy a less strenuous stroll, there are plenty of other paths you can take. Of course, you've got the grazing animals. Um, you've got this Labrador Bay special bird. The RSPB bought Labrador Bay in 2008 to help uh, sell, sell buntings. 
This beautiful little bird is now flourishing on the nature reserve and can be heard singing from many of the hedgerows. The mixture of crops, grassland and wonderful Devon hedges creates the ideal conditions for this bird to live. It can be seen at any time of the year. So you never know, we might see one today. You've got some history here. A checkered past, Labrador Bay has an interesting and varied history. It is thought to have been frequented by smugglers in the 1600 and 700s. However, by 1891, it had become the site of a respectful inn. On the left there, initially visitors had to climb 400 steps, 400 steep steps to reach the inn before a quay was built so that the people could arrive by sea. Unfortunately, the hotel was completely destroyed by fire in 1938 and the area has been reclaimed by nature. It is thought that the name Labrador could be from the French expression Labrador or Labrador, meaning the shelter of gold. Excuse my um, attempt at French there. Well, I just met a chap that has started the coastal path all the way from Minehead. And he said to me, he's just got over 500 miles of it done. You meet some great people along here, you really do. So uh, look at that, oh, look at that view. Cool, that is steep folks, isn't it? I see why they say not for the faint hearted. <laughs> right, well, we're here, we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna need some uh, water very soon. I should keep myself hydrated on this one. It's very important, isn't it? And there, you've got the view. Nest Beach, as we climb up here. Just wonderful. So special. Well, we got to the top, folks. So I think I'll give you some information about Sheldon. So Sheldon is situated on the South Devon coast across the Teen Estuary and opposite the town of Tynmouth. Sheldon is an unspoilt village with a thriving community. Many families in the village are still linked to the fishing industry and with a great range of local shops and attractions, it's an ideal place for a relaxing holiday. Sheldon isn't as a commercial as many of the South Devon towns, but it's perfect if you want to experience real Devon life firsthand. So things you can do, you can explore Sheldon Beach, ideal for swimming, sailing, rowing, paddling, and rock pool exploring, or the nearby Tynmouth Beach or Ness Cove Beach, which, uh, which we've just seen there, of course, which is accessed via that original smugglers tunnel. If you want to try out some water sports, you can head to Tynmouth, and visit Sea Sports Southwest who offer kayaking and stand up paddles. Well, that surprised me seeing cattle. But uh, I suppose you, you're going to at some point on the coastal path, aren't you? As you go through, oh, hang on, we're going to towards the water trough. Okay, a little quick exchange of looks from me and the cow. Yeah. Of course, it's warm, isn't it? But it might be because I'm walking and you're chilling, but look at that. If you're doing the coastal path from the beginning to the end, you're like, this is what's coming up. You've got your preview, haven't you? Just got to go through this gate. And it looks like we've got to go... Am I going the right way? We're going on a road. 
Okay, yeah, now this is fine. Um, this is the A379 and it's a lovely road to go on when you're driving because you see the coast um, as you're going along. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. You go through a lot of towns, folks, on that, uh, that road. But you've got Dawlish, Dawlish Warren, um, obviously Sheldon, Tynmouth, um, Starcross. And then you can stop off where you, where you like the look of as well, it's really cool. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be walking along the pavement for the coastal path. We're going to go back down off the road in a moment. You can see a sign. So, just two miles to Maidencombe. I know it's just, just two miles, but it depends on how challenging it's going to be, doesn't it? Two miles can feel a long way. But so far, it's, I've been all right. I've been okay. Just be careful down these steps because obviously there's roots that you've got to deal with as well. Just mind you stepping. You can hear a chiff chaff in the background. Right. Oh. Yeah, they're like giant steps. So yeah, just got to be careful at this bit as well, as we go down here. It's quite, it's quite steep, but I don't feel like my legs are trying to run away from me too much. Yeah, that's steep, isn't it? There's, there's uh, cows up there, I don't know how they're staying up there, but they are. Okay, well let's see what it's like. I, I presume it's going to be as steep as it looks. Oh, yeah, this bit's a bit, yeah, this is a bit steep. I can feel my sunglasses gradually going off my head onto my eyes. So I just lifted them up again. But yeah, my legs want to go faster than I want to go. So take your time if you can. Which it looks like this is a, a bee sort of like favorite kind of um tree because it's got it looks like it's got a lot of good pollen on it all right right so yeah we're going up we're going up uh this little gradual hill um right okay and it's quite narrow this bit So, down here, oh I thought we were going to go into that field where the cows were but we're, we're not, which I'm relieved about because this looks more manageable. Got the first lot of leaves. Well, you're certainly right, Catherine, about the uh, it being a a challenging part. So, as I say, it's two miles of this sort of terrain. I don't think it's going to be for everyone, though. It really isn't, is it? But just visiting Sheldon, it offers a lot for you anyway. There's a view, and that's where we currently are at the moment. It looks like we haven't done much, but 
yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. We've got plenty to see, I'm sure. Excuse the panting, but yeah, it was quite a, a, a climb. And there's your reward, folks, for doing it. All right, yeah, we've got half the mile down. So one and a half miles left. Okay, cool. All right, I can hear the A379 again. Well, this doesn't have a lock on it. I've got some people here, which is, which is nice. Right. I've got to find somewhere I can eat. Oh, look what's coming over here. Another view. Another view. Cool. Look at this. Oh, spellbounding. It really is. And then we've, this looks quite steep because you can't see the, the end of this field but I want to stick by the coast so we can get the, the most out of today. But I think there's, they might be going back to the car park. There's a car park over there, so, right. Oh. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? A, a reminder of like, how lucky we are if you live in this area of the country or if you don't get the opportunity to to visit and of course you're able to see it all on my channel and it's great to see this for the first time with you all we're in this together and this is going to get steep and I can feel it's getting steeper down here. And we could be going into the woods again here. If the sound of my equipment was rattling a bit recently, but uh, I'll try to hush it down a bit this time. Oh yeah. If we only do this once folks, you've just got to take it all in, haven't you? You might not ever be on this path again but yeah and we're in the woods we might hear those cell buntings that they said are around this area and uh, just going up again and if, you know, if you're coming here and you're going to that car park, you've got plenty of signs. So if you don't want to do this coastal path, you could just come here and have a look at this little part of the area. That's catering for other people's needs, isn't it? That is very good. All these opportunities to see the sea It's just zigzags now at the minute. Ongoing zigzag. I'm going to call this bit zigzag mania. Oh, we're at the top, lovely. Oh, oh, that's good. Any longer, it would have been a bit. Well, oh, I'd keep it going, but you know, you just need that. Feel like reassurance yet you, you've got you're there um, and it's not constantly ongoing but that was okay in the end it's definitely got the the old system going i tell you that anyway i've not seen a bench for a while and i need a drink actually after that yeah oh good old guzzle i think i deserve that really don't i Oh, water. I said before, haven't I? I think it tastes so much better if you need water rather than if you've got to try and drink as much as you can in a normal day. It's boring, but water, when you're going on a coastal path or something that's got a lot of 
uh, ch challenges in it. It tastes amazing. Right, onwards and forwards. Well, this looks quite steep. The lovely view in the background, but we've got to concentrate on our stepping here. So we basically doing the same amount of steps as we did when we came up here. A few sp spiky bush here, so just mind your head as you're going along. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Yeah, and of course, if you've got problems with your knees, you've got again, you've got to be careful about considering doing this. I would say. Oh, blinking glasses keep on dropping over my eyes because of the impact. <laughs> well, I was expecting it. Another climb up there. Look, sometimes when I climb up hills, I look down. So I find it's a bit easier and your mind doesn't think like, oh, there's a long way to go up. It kind of makes it feel almost a bit flatter. And obviously, don't forget to look back because you've got things like that to see. Pardon the pun, I didn't mean that. <laughs> wow. I think it's a good time, an opportunity to sit down and just have the lunch because I don't think we're going to get many benches. So um, this is quite a dry bit of area, this ground, so I'll catch you in a bit. Right, off we go. All um, fed and watered. Um, oh, this is a bit, there we go. Oh, not so easy with one hand this. Right, try again. There we go. Right. Okay. I wonder how long we've got left. And as you go, the further you go, the more people you meet. Everyone's really friendly and you can have a little bit of a chat about, you know, what, um, how much they've done of the coastal path, where they're from. Yeah, it's a great vibe. You, get, you know, you meet people from all over the country coming here. And we're on the other side of Labrador Bay, RSPB Nature reserve so you've got some guidance on the green trail which is easy orange trail moderate and red trail difficult so that's good I like, again i like this it's catering for different people right folks there's a sign or oh, let's have a drum beat how long have we got to go oh I was expect. I really was hoping it would say, but never mind. Um, I'm guessing because it's not telling you how far it is, we're not like miles away. I mean, it was one and a half miles, wasn't it, the last time we saw? So I think we're we're doing pretty well. I'm very happy with progress. You can see in the distance there, like some cruise ship, I think, or maybe not. No, it's a. Uh, some sort of um, little miniature island out there, look. Over time the, oh, that must have been like some land that has just disappeared there, mustn't it, at some point. And I'll show you over here, look at that. Step over a bit more, show you a bit more. Oh, actually, it doesn't look that far away, that uh, rock on its own in the sea from the land. But here's a glimpse, here's a shot of where we are at the moment on 
footpath map. Not bad, is it? These rolling hills. A little bit dreamy, to be honest, isn't it? And we'll be going up once again in a moment. It's hard to beat the sea, isn't it? Well, I wonder if there's going to be that many big hills now because the couple that I walked past said that when I was going down one of the hills that that was the uh, the biggest hill that they had found coming from Maidencombe so maybe it's going to be a bit more gentle I think there's a sign here folks aha welcome to Maidencombe excellent and again, you can look at these circular walks and you can pick one that you, you'd like to do. And there's the map of them, colour coded. And you've got the swell bunting being mentioned again. Certainly famous around here, aren't they? Right, we're doing very well. Excellent. Awesome. It'll be a good accomplishment for us, won't it? And then we sweep round this corner, you've got that red rock that we've seen before. Oh, just out of this world when you see things like that. Oh, chestnuts. Used to eat those as a kid. Right. Brings back a lot of memories when you think, you, you see things that you saw when you walked, when you were much younger. They remind me of pencils. Imagine if you just put a little bit of paint on the top of these. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's go, let's carry on. I think just behind all these trees is Maiden Coombe Cove. Just a little bit longer to walk. What I'd like to do though is show you the cove and we'll go down and just have a quick little mini tour of it. We've got a track here, coast path, there we are. It's not a bad place to live is it? it really isn't. And someone else I think lives up another driveway here and you've got a sign for Whatcom one mile and yeah we'll just be going down and down I suppose won't we until we get to the cove And then presumably, um, you go left here, and oh yes, I remember this car park, I believe. I think I parked in here, yeah, when I last came to Maidencombe for a, like just a day out. Yep, there we go, Maidencombe Beach, there's a sign. 
there's a cafe and toilets and some more signage to tell you about this area and of course yeah we're on the English Riviera um, that's a great oh that's a great little um, picture of and showing you all the coves and the beaches and you got a circular walk that you can do 3.7 miles but anyway we'll go down here and we'll take a look and there's the distance that we've gone sorry the sun's in the way a bit there Maidencombe Beach to Sheldon Beach 3.3 miles and then of course Watkin Beach 1.1 miles from here but yeah no, it does feel longer than that because of the fact that it's up and down up and down a lot so we take these steps and as you go look look at that there's a cafe right there not sure if it's open but late afternoon round here, it's lovely isn't it? Okay, it is open. Award winning luxury ice cream, Yard, Yard Farm or Yardy Farm. So, just around here. Okay, so the, the tides come in, but we can still go down and appreciate it here, folks, can't we? Because last time I came here, it was out, um, probably like to there, something like that. But it's still a, it's still a special moment, isn't it? All right. We might be able to just get round in. Uh, we've got a little bit of people that are still around there. Um, right. Right, off we go, look, quickly. There we go. So, little quick mini tour of this place. Um, And it's quite, yeah, the sand's all wet. But yeah, no, you're getting a, an idea of what it's like here. So, I'm not gonna hang around here too long because otherwise it's gonna be difficult to climb over the stones. But as you can see, look. But no, yeah, there you go. And then we'll, we'll head back but yeah, if you come here when the tide's out, earlier on, we'll just check the tide times online for Maiden Coon Cove. You can uh, enjoy it at its best. We can have a little look over here. I remember coming up here and sitting down and having my lunch up here, which is a good spot. And yeah. All right, just thought I'd give you an extra shot. Look at that, what a lovely little cove, eh? So, yeah, it's quite a bit of a road to walk up. Um, I can hear someone singing. Um, yeah, it's quite a, quite a bit of a walk, not, not massively long um, it, it makes it clear that this is the way to the main road I was tempted to go in the thatch tavern but it's closed on a Monday which is today so oh well um, it, it's, it's good to know that pub is there because um, it looks pretty awesome doesn't it look at that I'm at Maidencombe Cross 
at the top of the A379. Now, if you're using Google Maps to guide you on finding the bus stop, just be a bit cautious because it can literally, because I think it's the mobile signal on the hill, it can literally take you back down off the, um, off the main road. So you've just got to go on the A379. There's like those little blue square bus marks anyway on um, the Google Maps. So you know that you're in the right place. Yeah, it literally says Maiden Coombe Cross, the other side of the road on the, on the sign. So yeah, got a bit of time to wait though. It's um, four minutes past five and we're, um, yeah. 4.31, so it's all right, not too bad. Well, I managed to get on the bus. Uh, it's the number 22, and uh, I will give you my thoughts on how today went and get back to the car. And coming off the bus, it literally, the bus stop is literally just at the top of Nest Drive, and then you just have to walk down here and go back to the car park really good there we go the walk is complete i did 9.55 kilometers in the end so yeah quite a good amount of distance that was wasn't it um and first of all what can i say i love Sheldon. i really do love it around here um and um just the uh, like Sheldon Village is lovely to to go down to from this car park. It's literally just sort of down there, um, and you're sort of by the the sea, um, and of course you've got Sheldon Zoo as well, which you can go to, which is great for the kids, or it's it's great just to see the monkeys um, and their sort of shenanigans they get up to, you know, um, and then of course. I paid £4.20 for the whole day here, which doesn't expire until uh, tomorrow. I think it's worth paying for. And then you get as long as you want to appreciate this place. Um, and then, of course, seeing the coastal path. Um, the, yeah, the, 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 the Ness, you know, going up there. Um, quite challenging, I would say, quite challenging. Um, I feel like it's um, a bit easier for me at the moment obviously i'm i've been going to the gym which makes a big difference but yeah i think it's um because of the rest of the coastal path it is up and down quite a lot and it's not going to be suitable for um some people you know it is going to be quite hard going um but um you like i say you can we've seen these signs where you can do these little smaller paths you know on route towards maidencombe so this does cater for a lot of people um and of course you could just park down and appreciate maidencombe and then you can go to the beach and um and yeah so it does work out for everyone i think doesn't it you could just have the day in Do um day in uh, sheldon couldn't you um but it really worked out the fact that i went all the way to maidencombe we appreciated that area for a bit at the cove and then we were able to get the bus back, the 22, um, which literally took about, what, four or five minutes to, to get back to Sheldon from there. Um, obviously, you'll need to check the timetable um, and make sure that you stay up on Maidencombe Cross. Don't get distracted by what Google Maps is saying to you. Um, but yeah, you literally uh, are opposite um, the sign for the Maiden Coon Cross and uh, just keep an eye on the buses coming. They slow down around there as well, so they know people are waiting. But yeah, no, I've had a fantastic day. Um, we've had some great scenery, haven't we, of the sea, the, oh, it's been wonderful. It really has been a great day and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, and um, really recommend Sheldon. Again, I'm saying it, it's lovely here. It really is. Plenty of space here, as you can see in front of us, and there's spaces either side of us. It's ideal. And, of course, you've got um, the Ness uh, pub just down the road, which is lovely as well. Um, yeah, really great. Really great. Feet are stinging a bit, 
but I, w I was expecting that to be honest because of the way it's just going up and down up and down like that you know but anyway keep an eye out on the next walking highlights draw folks again i'm sorry it's been a little bit of um a, a delay bringing this next video out it's been quite busy um this week with things but um it's it's great to to come here and do this but thank you for joining us take care and join me for another walking journey very soon and it's bye bye from me in shaldon